Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another one of my top five favorite workouts. And today we are going to be doing chest. And you may be wondering if you are a female, why would I work out chest if you're a dude? I know that's all you work out. It's just chest and biceps, am I right boys? Yeah, that, that's all you guys do. But for ladies, why would we ever work out chest? We have boobs, why would we want to have like pecs underneath our boobs? Because having pecs will like lift up your boobies just a little bit. Like it's not going to give you like magical boobs, like you're not going to grow boobs from doing like a bench press or push-ups or anything like that, but it will help enhance what you do have going on there. And I can speak from my own experience before I started lifting. I wore, I think it was a 36 triple D. Honestly, it was insane. I wish I still had one of those old bras because like you wouldn't believe that I ever had boobs looking at me now, but I used to be called Julie Booby back in the day in high school. Like it's what a great nickname when you're 16, Julie Booby. So I used to have boobs and then I started to work out and I lost them because you know, that's just how it always goes. You, you start working out and the one place that you want to keep your fat is the first place that the fat goes. So I haven't had boobs in a while, but I have found that working out my chest has helped enhance the little bit that I do have left. I just love being overall balanced everywhere. I love having strength in all of my muscles. I also just remembered while I was putting on my sweater just now that if you guys are new to my channel, I'm currently doing Vlogmas if you're watching this as I post it. I'm attempting to do 25 videos for the month of December. Hopefully I'm doing well. I should be about a week or two in by now. I'm kind of pre-filming a little bit, so hopefully I'm still doing well. But if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of fitness related videos. I also do perfume reviews. I love to vlog. I do military significant other advice. And I would love to see you guys in all my future videos. Other than Vlogmas, I usually post videos three times a week. So make sure that you hit subscribe and let's go to the gym. So similar to how I start out every single back workout with pull-ups, I start off every single chest workout with push-ups. I do four sets until failure, and then we move on to my other favorite chest workouts. Like I just said, I love starting off every single push day with push-ups. They are a classic move for a reason. They really fire up your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. They are a great Body weight only movement, if you are not strong enough to be doing push-ups on your toes yet, feel free to be doing them on your knees. They're both going to be super effective and I love going until failure, which is usually between 20 and 30 push-ups at a time and then I rest a little bit and I go again. My hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You try to keep your elbows close to the body as you do your push-ups. Your back is straight, your head is in alignment with your spine, and push until you cannot push anymore, rest and go again until failure. My next favorite chest workout is the barbell flat bench bench press. You use a like medium width grip so that when your arms are down by your chest, you're creating like a 90 degree angle with your elbows. Get nice and comfortable on your bench, make sure that you are laying far away enough from the rack so that when you are pushing, you do not hit where you would rack the barbell on the way up or down and like mess yourself up and drop the weight on yourself. You are going to be lowering the weight right up to your chest and then pushing it up. Ideally, you would be going slower on the decline movement, so on the way down towards your chest, and then you can push up a little bit faster on the way up. Just recently, I have begun putting my feet a little bit closer to my body, if that makes sense, and I push through my heels. This movement, even though it is your chest, you can get a little bit of an extra push throughout your whole body if you push through your heels. So that's why you can see like my legs and butt right now are tensing because I'm pushing with my whole body to get that weight up. In case you guys were wondering, yes, I was hyping myself up during this workout with Trans-Siberian Orchestra Christmas music. My next favorite chest movement is going to be the dumbbell bench press. You're going to lay down on a flat bench. You can use your thighs to help push the dumbbells up. At the top of the movement, you're going to be bringing the dumbbells in closer to each other so that they almost touch, and then on the way down, your elbows kind of go outwards. So if somebody is watching you from like a top-down view, like from the top of your head facing down, they would see that your arms pinch in towards the top and then go out towards the bottom of the movement. You're going to bring it down to about chest level each time and really focus on pushing with your chest through this movement. 
Also, really focus on your breathing through chest workouts. As you breathe out is when you are using your chest to push the weight up off of you. Also, typically when I do my chest workouts, this move and the following two movements, I do them as a super super set or a tri set. And this next movement, which I mean, I guess my camera didn't feel like filming right now, but the next movement included in my usual tri set is a dumbbell bench fly. For this movement, you're going to raise up the dumbbells as if you are going to do a bench press, but you're going to keep them facing each other. You're going to bend your elbows slightly to get the tension off of your biceps, and you're going to lower your arms to your sides and really feel for that stretch in your chest. You are going to be breathing in as you lower the dumbbells towards the sides, and as you breathe out is when you push back up towards the top of this movement. Since I was doing these movements as a tri-set, I didn't feel like getting a separate weight for this next movement, which is a dumbbell close grip press. You could also do this with one dumbbell that is heavy enough, so that way you have an even closer grip. I don't really have much to say other than you are going to start with the dumbbells up high, lower them to your chest, make sure you are focusing on your breathing again. And as you can see, this one is really like killing me because I was doing this as a tricep. And this variation of a chest press actually removes a little bit of the tension off of your shoulders and recruits a little bit more of your triceps. I only started adding this one to my routine a couple of months ago maybe, and I have loved it since I added it to my chest days. And the final move I'm going to be showing you guys, I typically do as my second movement for chest day, and you will see why I do that towards the end of these clips. But this is a decline barbell bench press. It is pretty much identical to doing a regular flat bench bench press, but as you can see, the kind of bench that I'm on is declined. Being on a decline, you end up feeling this more like in the lower portion of your chest muscles rather than like the center and the top and the sides. And I feel like a decline movement is actually really good for ladies who are trying to like perk up what they got because it like works underneath, you know? So in this clip, you will see why it is very important to have a spotter on you and to not do what you normally do at the beginning of a workout at the end of a workout with the same weight that you would do at the beginning of the workout because when I reached the fifth or sixth push here, suddenly I lost all my strength. There it is. Um, I'm done. I reached my end, and this is where I live now. I can't get that off of me. So I just slide the weights off. This guy came running over to help me, and I was like, thanks, bro. This is awkward. <laughs> so make sure you guys have a spotter. Be safe at the gym. And that's it for this commentary. So there you guys have it. Those are my top six favorite chest workouts because I was waiting so long for the decline bench that I ended up doing it at the very end of my workout after I also did triceps and shoulders and as you guys saw I <laughs> I pushed myself until I could not push anymore that is my note to all of you guys to always have a spotter around if you don't think you can do something I have literally never dropped a bar like that on myself and just not been able to do anything that was a very strange feeling just to be laying there like well this is where I live now. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't too heavy and I would have been fine. I could have slid off both of the weights myself, but I was thankful that somebody ran over to help me get the other weight off. But as is obvious by the fact that my chest literally just gave out on me, that was a great workout and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorite chest workouts. If you did, make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up for me. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas as well as my fitness related videos. In the comments section down below, let me know if you would rather see my favorite tricep workouts or my favorite bicep workouts as my next top five video and in the meantime i would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms i always have links to them all in the description box down below that guy was flying the speed limit is 25 and if you're not already subscribed to my channel you totally should right now i am doing vlogmas so i am posting new videos every single day up until christmas but normally i post new videos every tuesday thursday and saturday at 3 p.m eastern standard time so i'll see you guys in my next video which will actually be tomorrow bye Thank you.